Oh, oh no. George. And George. George has his little jog- Yankee jogging suit on. All right. That's nice. <laughs> can, can I, I got to explain because we have a, a whole brand new audience. Yep. We love Otto and we love George. The problem is George is a puppet. George is a, uh, yeah. And uh, this works, trust me, this works on radio. Sorry, I was late. I was under the port sucking gutting on the Hold on, we don't even have your freaking mic on. <laughs> right. Get that on. <laughs> All right. All right. The one good joke I got out, it didn't get in the air. Damn it. No, because no one heard it, so just do it again. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? George has the mirror. <laughs> <Fuck is this? laughs> All right. Yeah, it's Otto and George. Otto and uh, and his puppet George, but they're uh, they're best friends. And and George is wearing a little uh, Yankee jogging suit. Hey, fuck the Yankees! It was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> is that a new George from the last one? That yeah, this is the new George. That's oh. the new George. Wow, yeah, it's see, a, it's a little more rosy. <laughs> yeah, he's got his brain. Get the brain there. Yeah. <laughs> For when he does his JFK impression. <laughs> okay, let's go get a burger. <laughs> 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 And uh, Otto, George, uh, yeah. we're on satellite radio. So the old days, you'd come on our show, we'd have to dump out everything. Wow. You could just let it fly now. Yeah. That's yeah. the beauty of satellite radio. I, I was thinking about that, but you, you know, Jim wasn't cursing much, so it's like it's, you still have to be uh, witty somewhat. No, here's the deal, Otto. When we first got to satellite radio, we we were cursing the whole time because it was new and <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was new and different. Then after a while, you get bored with the curse, and then you go clever. But the deal is, this is your first appearance, so I'm thinking you should just curse your ass off. Yeah, Whatever you want. Yeah, think again. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice to see you guys. Right, Congratulations it's been a while. on getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wasn't that great? Yeah. yeah, that helped everybody out, huh? That, your, your that helped all our friends insane. out. Who <laughs> would think that <laughs> sickness out there? Church going <laughs> people would be so sensitive to their religion. Who's the Mishkite in the lounge out there I had to talk to? Don't you have any security here? Stalker Patty? Oh, yeah, she's very sweet. <laughs> oh. She invited me to the Hard Rock tonight. Somebody's brother is doing a cover yes, band. Uh, That's Anthony's. My brother Joe yeah. is playing a U2 cover band and a Journey cover band. It's, is he now? <laughs> it's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, tonight at the Hard Rock Cafe oh, at 10 God. p.m. Free admission. Hard Rock, 10 o'clock tonight. Terrific. You can make fun of his brother. It's no big deal. Well, what band are they tributing, anyway? Uh, well, he's got two of them that he plays in. It's yeah. uh, U2 is one of them, and Journey. They actually have a Journey tribute band. Uh, and, you know, the singer looks like Steve Perry. And Groupies? There you go. Yeah, they get the, you know, the, the, the problem with the tribute bands is if you're out there doing a Journey act, you get the uh, girls that used to be hot in the spandex and stuff. Uh, they come down now, and they, they don't look so good. You know, they're old, gotcha. old bras with bunts. And uh, they're trying to wear the tight spandex pants, and it just doesn't work out. Not a little all. much. Yeah. But it's entertaining. Good to see you, Jim. It's entertaining to, you, really to watch. To see you. Have you seen uh, our old pal, the great white gorilla? I haven't. What is he? I, I haven't heard. He married some him. female comic, I heard. He did. Jeff yeah. is married? Yeah. Wow. Jeff Norris is married? Yeah, he married some, uh, she's a stand-up. They worked here. No, I, I lost yeah. touch with him. Wow. Yeah, yeah we so have, have too. So. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, we, we have. Looking yeah. for some common ground there? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? that was rip one. That's <laughs> a, who do you think? Oh, Look to your left. Oh. Bad oh. Yeah, right around that. the Lysol. Nutty. Like I told you. <laughs> Filthy old Simka. <laughs> like, like I told you at the beginning of the show, right around 9 o'clock, the farts come. Oh. Could you spray a little Lysol? There's no, it doesn't smell at all. Oh, you, you to you? No, it's, that this, wasn't bad. this one's not smelling really. No, so I might rip one. It smells like the Shit. dumpster behind Sloan Kettering. <laughs> freak. <laughs> so what? What's going on, Otto? What is going on with you? Uh, it's just fucking early, man. You know yeah. the, the the George Washington traffic. It sucked. I mean, all you know, all your listeners, they're they're in hell. You know, the people that commute. I I can't mm-hmm. believe it. They do this every day. Could you imagine? Oh God. No. No more for us. No. no more driving. I come in uh, very early in the morning on the uh, LIE, but uh, no traffic. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, haven't <laughs> seen, I, I haven't seen you in probably two years. It's funny. I called out the other night because I missed him. I haven't seen you in so long. And then all of a sudden, Ben's like, yeah, we're trying to get him on the show. I'm like, oh, perfect yeah, timing. There Good. you go. Good. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? I, I, you know, I got to get geared up for radio. I'm not, I got to okay. get my radio yeah, yeah. chaps back. Oh, on. you know what I just got on DVD? I fucking, uh, Little Murders. Find me out on DVD. What's Little Murder? Funny movie. Yeah, he turned me out to his great comedy with uh, Sutherland and Vincent Gardenia um, years yeah. ago. Great. Well, know what we could do uh, as Otto gets uh, you know warmed up here. We could bring Francine in. She does. She's going to do like stupid news for us. Is that oh, cool? Oh, very yeah. good. And then uh, yeah, maybe uh, Otto and George can. Uh, Just to let you know, Otto, like uh, the the fine folks in Washington, they want us to have like a news person. 
Oh yeah, of course. That's yeah. radio. I mean, yeah. of and we'll never have a news person, but we figured we'll just like try out. The like, auditions will go on forever. Yeah. We'll, okay. We'll try out really awful people to do the news, like okay. Stalker Patty did it one day, and uh, I don't know, maybe Otto and George one day will do it. I'd love to. But uh, let's bring Francine in here. <laughs> we have our Ebony we'll do dinner. Princess. Okay. I'll be here. All right. Good lunch. Let's good. bring Francine in, <laughs> and uh, of course, if anything, uh, here she comes. Yeah, and and uh, Otto, Ebony princess. If you feel like there, it, just say whatever you want. Just interrupt her. We don't care. Thank you, Opie. You could uh, stand or take a seat, whatever you want to do. Oh, Grab the mic. He's dying to be on radio. Mm. It's uh, Francine, everyone, looking very hot today. Yes. Thank you, Opie. You want to try the vag pump out today? Ah, uh, that's okay. No, we have this vag pump, Otto. Yeah, it's a pump. This thing, it looks like an oxygen mask that goes over a girl's snatch, and you pump the air out, and it makes a vacuum, and actually pulls the lips out, <laughs> so I swear, it just, it looks like... A monkey's these, ass. A monkey, yeah, a mandrel wow. ass. A mandrel ass. Do we have pictures of what the vag pump can do? And it's the damage supposed it can do? to make it more sensitive in that area, <laughs> and, and the plumpness, I guess, is b better for the male... Uh, too, because uh, you'd feel more meat around it. You know what it is? We're just running out of things to do with chicks. Yeah. So That's we figured we'd we, take a Hoover to their snatch. We've done everything else, and we're like, eh, who's that guy? Is that one of your guys that's going to beat us up? Who's that? I don't know. Who's that wow. guy? With the Jets hat. Chubby guy? Yeah, he's my friend, Joe Conti. Oh, okay. What is he? So don't he's mess with him, right? He stand up. He's trying to break into the radio. Jesus. <laughs> I hope he doesn't break <laughs> our necks. Jesus. All right, so oh, he looks like a leg breaker. No. Oh my God, look at him! Harmless. He looks like a little league coach on trial for fingering a nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking creep you brought you. Creep. <laughs> <laughs> he likes Russian massage parlors. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of respect. What do you get at a Russian ma massage parlor? Better a head than job massage. And a free shovel? I don't know. <laughs> you get much better massage than stupid American uh, massage parlor. Much better. Russian do everything better. Perfect Peter Lorre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Russians do everything better. <laughs> Our mood. Uh, All right, why don't we go ahead? Why don't we try? Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Otto just hates being here. <laughs> Francine, you want to do the news today? Yes, please. Did you type up some stories? Yes, I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, I guess we'll get started. Do we have a, a, the sounder? Yeah. Do we have the news sound? Hopefully Derek can help me out here. With the teletype. All right, he's finding it. No worries. Jeez. Yeah. The satellite radio is weird, too. We don't really take any uh, uh, commercial breaks because there's no real commercials. You ready? All right, Derek, uh, hit it. All right. And now with the news, Francine. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Francine. It's President Bush increased pressure on Syria, demanding that they withdraw their troops for, from Lebanon to give democracy a chance. The U.S., along with armpit hairy friendly France, has stepped up the pressure for Syria, especially after the assassination of their Prime Minister Rafiq al Hari. Really. Could you that's slow it down and put less voice inflection into it? Jesus, that's the top story? It's Cindy Brady, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on with that story? Um... Apparently, uh, there's people, Lebanon people, and some, uh, okay, I guess they're telling people to get out of Lebanon, the Syrians. Yeah. That's it. Wow. Yep. All right. That was very informative. <laughs> and that is the top story today. Thank you. I don't know what it means. That means the way The way you tell it. He wants the Syrians to get out of Lebanon so that democracy can flourish. If you aren't wearing a retainer, you'd be right out of here. Throw you out, but the retainer's adorable. You like it? I like it, too. Mm. Really? Yeah. You don't even need it anymore, and you keep wearing it, right? No, I told you, March 7th. It's March 7th it comes up? March 7th, my retainer <laughs> came off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Francine. Next story. Is hoo-hoo in a little doo-doo? Seems as though investigators have reason to believe that Howard Stern's limo driver... Ronnie Mund may have done some insider trading. Ooh. Ronnie, the limo driver, bragged in studio about how he had bought serious stocks cheap before his boss joined the company. The SEC are trying to determine if Mund had insider information. Uh, Ronnie, you don't 
trade inside and brag about it on national radio. Are you serious? When asked to comment, Howard had this to say, I don't care. I just don't care. Wow. Do you, know, do you, do you even know what inside <laughs> trading is? Insider trading, yeah. <laughs> it's something to do with the stock market. Very good. <laughs> That's good. You, no, you don't. You didn't. You're not an investigative reporter where you really look into the story, are you? Otto, she watched uh, Sesame Street until she was what, twelve? Almost thirteen. Almost thirteen. <laughs> Spider monkey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> good show. Right. It's a good show. Of course it is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Holy yes! It teaches you like the alphabet and reading and stuff like that. Sure. Well, I, I, I liked it. Yeah. All right. That All and right. Fraggle Rocks was great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Next story. This is Walter Cronkite with the CBS Evening News. Old dirty bastard died today or died, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> George piping in. I think I think George has just about had it with this scene in the studio. <laughs> Go ahead, Francine. Next story. Michael Jackson is on trial again for yet again for taging and fondling a little cancerous. Ta- for taging? Taging and fondling? Boy. What the? F- for taging and fondling. Wait, for what? For taging. It's like when you lightly rub someone. I Wait, think. is it F R O T A G E? I think so. Frottage. It's frottage? No, not frottage. It's frottage. I used to do that in high school. It's when you rub your penis against a girl's ass, it's copping a feel. Uh, <laughs> in a, like, it, 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 and it's quote unquote accidentally, but copping yeah. a feel. I believe, yeah, it's, like a, it's, like a, it's very antisocial. Uh huh. Well, then it's right up your alley. Yeah, frottage. <laughs> I thought it was for touch. Let me see. Well, that's how I spelled it. Oh. How did she spell it? F R O T A G I N G. Mm hmm. I think not right. that's right. It's not right. <laughs> 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 Certainly isn't. All right, go ahead with the Michael Jackson. <laughs> the Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. The guys are riot. <laughs> Before molesting him, the boy claims that Jackson gave him wine and showed him porn magazines. Mm. But the biggest question is, what sane mother leaves their ailing son with a man already accused of child molestation? Oh, no Jack- one's thought of that yet. <laughs> <laughs> no one's looked at that angle. Yeah, there's a new angle. I think it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, you do. It's insane and nuts. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Zach said, regardless of whether you're innocent, they're going to walk away with a shitload of money. Mm. With enough of it to erase these memories. Meanwhile, you'll be in jail with a rotten balloon knot, swallowing and rubbing off Baba's Jesus juice from your <laughs> face. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have a star-studded defense list. Sorry to say it, but Mike, you got Jack, son. Oh, oh my God! Stop chortling at yourself. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my! Wow. You were proud of that line at the end there. Pat the Naki is embarrassed. <laughs> you got Jack, son. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Get it? Yeah. Wow, we were having a really good show until this point. Wow. A really good one, man. It was one of the better ones, I tell you. Mm. That was not a bad line. Yeah. She pumped her fist in the air. She was yeah, all she proud was of really herself. really proud of it. Uh huh. I thought it was great. I thought it was all right. All right. Thank, thank you, Jimmy. You're hot, so I guess it was good. All right, let's go. That bitch, Lizzie Grumface. Mm. A.K.A. PR Bad Girl is pushing her new TV series Power Girls big time for MTV. <sighs> Best known for reversing her Mercedes SUV into a crowd of innocent bystanders outside a Southampton nightclub. Uh, okay. Lizzie wow. told. <laughs> Lizzie wow. Told. <laughs> I thought I was a bad reader at times. I, I kind of rope along. So no, you're all right. Good. Yeah, no, it's making frittaging. It's just <laughs> ponderous. <laughs> Effing <laughs> ponderous. That's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's good, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lizzie told the Daily News uh, that she's trying to clean up her image and told them her favorite motto, any publicity is good publicity. 
how original. What? I was dozing. <laughs> I dozed off during that. Hey, uh, did you get enough sleep last night? And Is there any synapses sparking under that Jiffy Pop hat? <laughs> <laughs> No, Sina. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, let me explain some brainwave activity and how it works to you. There's nothing wrong with that hat. Let Lawrence. Je- Fuck. Oh, you. Lawrence stink. Hilton Jacobs. I almost said Lawrence <laughs> Jacobs. Hilton. <laughs> Fucking idiot. What is synapsis? What? what? What's synapsis? The last surviving prop from the set of Good Times is on her head. <laughs> well, I like the hat. Yeah, Thank I did too, actually. All right. Did they get Billinger yet? <laughs> I heard that Michael Jackson story already. Lake Hurst, New Jersey. The Hindenburg burst into flames. Yeah. Well, you're dumb as dirt, but you're cute as a button doing it. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> Are, Very you nice <laughs> you. Are you almost done? I'm almost. I got two more stories. All right. All right. That little whore, <laughs> Lil' Kim, is facing up to 30 years in jail for lying about the famous shootout in front of Hot 97 on February 25th. This comes after... It's, pardon my interruption. Did you just sound out that little R in February? February. 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 <laughs> February. <laughs> George is just sitting there stunned. Absolutely stunned. George is stunned? Why, because he hasn't you. blinked? <laughs> George, hold the mirror. (laughs) 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 My eyes. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so you Um, can continue. This comes after Lil Kim's friends testified yesterday that the racy rapper blatantly lied to a grand jury when she said that she didn't know him and that he wasn't with her when he opened fire outside of the Manhattan studio. Uh-huh. The man, Swift Gutta Jackson, who identified himself on stand as Lil' Kim's pal, admitted he sprayed machine gun fire into a crowd that buck, buck. day. Buck, buck. I hear ya. That's, the That's it? That's the Lil' Kim story. You have one more, right? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Congratulations to Steve Fawcett, who became the first person to fly around the world alone without stopping or refueling. Starting out in north central Kansas, Fawcett, who survived on 12 milkshakes and water during the flight while using bottles for the bathroom, landed yesterday, uh, had this to say. That was something I wanted to do for a long time. But good for you. Oh, that's that's it. Kind of the feel-good story at the end. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that feel-good story. If you're good still story. awake. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That was the dullest thing ever. Like last time, you spiced it up with some stuff. You put a little commentary into it. You know, a little opinion. This time, uh, you know, you, yeah. I think you you put all your eggs in that M- Michael Jackson. You got Jackson gag. And you thought that was going to carry you for the whole thing. I think you called it in today. Yeah. You didn't like it. This could be it for Francine. Well, I don't I think so. I like it. Do you have Thank a background in journalism or anything <laughs> like that? I have a communications bachelor's degree from NYU. What, did you find it on the subway? <laughs> no, I got it. Oh. In school. Oh. So yeah, she graduated college, if you can believe that, Otto. Do I'm going to nail all my old cum rags from high school in Central Park to increase tourism. <laughs> I'm going to call it the Jism Trail. <laughs> you didn't like the gates there, George? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it made a quarter billion dollars for the city. Yeah, really? Who gives a shit? But they're saying it's art. Yeah. Is it? Did anybody? Did you guys go? Uh, I s- it go. Was, it was the biggest joke I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I it's went. Something you go to. I was driving by the park and well, looked, and there I, I walked was through, there. I walked through the park every day, so I'm like, well, I'm here. Might as well check it People out. People that walked around and actually looked at it. What the? Fu- it was it's orange. Sheets, right? yeah, yeah. It was orange shower curtains. Mm. Literally. And <laughs> once you an saw arc. one, you, you saw, saw them all. all. There's no difference. <laughs> like something else we've heard of. <laughs> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 
Uh, Andre wants to say something to Francine. All right. Andre. Hello, guys. How are you? Pretty Hi. good. You know that the, the, Helen Keller had better delivery, and George has more enthusiasm for the fucking news. And I'll see you guys in St. Patrick's Day. Helen Keller? Wow. Do you know who Helen Keller was? Uh, Francine? No? Is she a star? Uh, <laughs> yes. A star? Yes, she could be considered a star. She's famous. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Helen Keller. You never heard of that name? Mm -mm. No? Have you ever heard of George Washington Carver? I know George Washington. You don't know George Washington Carver? Well, George Washington's like the second or third. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the presidents. One yeah. of the presidents. <laughs> yeah. Very good. You're right. He second kinda, or third. But is he second or third, though? Yeah. Something like that. He yeah. kind of started the whole president thing, yeah. actually. Who was the first? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Who was the first president of these United States? I think it was Abraham Lincoln. Abraham uh, of Lincoln. Of course it was. That's it. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln first, and then George Washington. Do you know who the third was? That's tough. Uh, Herbert Hoover. Herbert Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. What the hell did you learn in college? Well, we didn't have history courses. No? Nope. Didn't they have some in high school, though, that you had to kind of skate through to get to college? Well, I did really bad in high school. You did? Yeah. But So, so how'd you get into college? Well, By I... By spreading your legs. <gasps> no. Opie! Sorry. Did you? That was, a, that was a mean shot. I'm sorry, Francine. Do you know the definition of bacteria? Yes. It's the rear end of a cafeteria. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> what was King Louis the Fourteenth responsible for? King Louis the Fifteenth. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. I don't get it. So Abraham Lincoln was the first president, and what year was uh, was that? Uh, around the 1700s. Around the 17. That's a hundred-year buffer you got going there. Can you narrow it down a little more? 17. 1793. And uh, Lincoln, what was the most, uh, the, his biggest impact on, on the country as president? Oh, you Free Willy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a movie. Yeah. You're making eyes like you just saw a ghost. Is this I'm too much to for you? I'm trying to figure out what he did. Abe Lincoln, very influential as president. He uh, wore a big hat. He wore a big <laughs> hat. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. You're right. That was his biggest contribution. That was uh, soaring crime rate. <laughs> <laughs> Most people wish he'd pulled that big hat over his head before he signed a piece of paper. <laughs> and he was tall. He was tall, and it wasn't and just the hat. And skinny. Skinny, and very you, good. You are a black woman, so it's very good that you know this. That you know that. Uh, what did he do? Uh, th there was something he did. That was historic, and its impact is still felt today in uh, police stations all over the country. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Inappropriate. Uh, no? No. As an African-American woman, I'm, uh, I'm flabbergasted here. You should know what Abraham Lincoln did. Do you, have you ever heard of the Emancipation Proclamation? Oh, my God. So our, our brain's going to explode. Yes, I take it when I have diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> the, all right, what is it? What is it? Um, I believe that's uh, freeing of the slaves. Freeing <laughs> of wow, the slaves. All right. Very good. Now, do you know who signed the Emancipation Proclamation? I'll give you a hint. He's skinny and has a big hat. <laughs> Would it be Abe Lincoln? Abe Lincoln. Very good. She's adorable. <laughs> You've learned a lot in here today. Thank you, guys. That's And that, that just seems to me something, uh, you know, who's on the, you should know. Who's on the $1 bill? Oh. That would be Washington. Washington. Who's on the 5 Well, I know money. Washington? Is no. on a 5 also? No, it's Lincoln with the hat. Lincoln. Yeah. Let's get a little trickier now. Who's on a 10? Uh, um. Mm, that's tough. Okay. Um, would it be? You never get it. I'm sorry for not having faith, but Jesus. Uh. Yafit uh, Kata? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. can you give me a first name? Is a first name. A Jesus. first name. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a first name. Yeah. Uh, Alexander. Uh, Houston? 
Alexander Houston. Yep, Very absolutely. good. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 oh, did you see that jerk? <laughs> 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 Alexander Houston, our his president. His ragtime band. <laughs> his ragtime band, of course. We've got to find out who is smarter, Lady mm -hmm. Di or Francine. I'd actually give it to Lady Di. Yeah? And she is really, really not smart. I don't know. Francine has a weird kind of knowledge. Francine seems clever. You're street smart. But you really don't have any knowledge whatsoever about anything. You're, you're what they call ignorant. It's not a bad thing. You have the capability of learning. I you just haven't learned anything. Your brain is devoid of information. <laughs> it is a it is a storage locker, pristine and empty. Right. I am book smart. You're book smart? Yes. Comic book? Yeah. What kind of book? Yeah, give us something. Not history. Give us something you know. What would you consider give yourself something... a little bit more of an expert in yeah. than anyone else? Give us something else? you know that would impress us. Everyone's got their specialties. Maybe well, something you, you think we wouldn't know. Uh, the tallest tree is located in California. <laughs> <laughs> it wears a hat, and it was our first president. <laughs> really, the tallest tree, and what type of tree is that? Big a ass willow? tree. Big ass tree. A willow tree? I a willow know. tree. I know it's in California. Probably an old. Yeah, red something like that. Sequoia. Sequoia. See? Redwood. Did you guys know that? Yes. Yeah, he yeah. Just said Jimmy said it. Oh. <laughs> the Sequoia. <laughs> Coincidentally enough, that's her cousin's name, Sequoia. <laughs> no? Sorry. Black no. Black. Funny names sometimes. Like Sequoia, Spatula. <laughs> <laughs> no? Wow. So nothing else. Is there a, a subject that you're pretty good in? Yeah. That you were good in school? English. English. Mm -hmm. You're good in English. All right. I'm trying to think of some type of question oh. that would show her English skills. Maybe. but maybe Geography. You're good at geography? Yes. All right. <laughs> and we'll talk about math. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. All right. <laughs> geography. Um, uh, capitals, things like that? Yes. All right. What is the capital of New York? Manhattan. Manhattan, New York <laughs> is indeed okay, the capital one for one. of New York. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what is the... Um, I am stunned. Wow. <laughs> Manhattan, New York, the capital of New York. Okay. Mm -hmm. One for one. That's good. How about New Jersey? Uh. Um. Hmm. It's a tough one. Yeah, that is a tough one. Your first instinct is probably right. You probably have it, and you're doubting it, but that's probably right. Uh. Her first instinct I was Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Wyoming's a country? Wait, it's coming to her, guys. It's coming to her. It is. Would it be. Um. I don't know. New New Jersey? Yes. Uh, New Brunswick? Absolutely. New Brunswick. <laughs> New Brunswick, New Jersey two is indeed two. the capital of New Jersey. I told Jersey. you first. She is right. good at geography <laughs> then. Maybe uh, maybe world geography a little world better. World is good. World geography. All right. World a little, geography. A little better. All right. What continent is India part of? Oh, very good. It is part of... Asia. Ooh. <laughs> you are smart. <laughs> the tsunami. Oh, you learned from the tsunami? Yes. And that's another cousin's name, by the way. Tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tsunami. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, that uh, that learned you something. Yes, it did. All right. Anything else? Any other subjects you're uh, very good at? No? Um, you weren't good in social studies? or. I was good in social studies, you were? actually. Isn't that kind of history and things like that? Yeah, but like it's been a long time. You know, high school was. What like years d did World War Two last for for America? What years were our involvement in World War Two? Uh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um. It was early thirties. Early thirties, indeed. Nineteen thirty-two. Okay. To early forties. Right to early forties. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, that's great. Yeah, you're fighting a painter at that point, I believe. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you're, you've proven yourself. You are indeed book smart. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You go to geography. Good. George, oh, any comments over there? That Hitler was cranky. <laughs> <laughs> Part of what you learned in, in social studies. Yes. I was very wow. Good. And what are you doing? In co are you still in college? 
No, I work as a secretary. Did you graduate? Yeah. And you have your, a degree. I surely did. And yeah. what does that do for you? That degree? What'll that? Well, so far it really hasn't done a lot. No. Did yeah. they ask to see it when you went for a job? Uh, no. No. And you got a job, a uh, secretary. Yes. What kind of company? Real estate. Real estate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you 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 help uh, uh, out with the the big land deals that are going on. Yes. <laughs> what do you have to do as a secretary to real estate? Let me, give me give me a little uh, a little of your job. Because um, I'm stunned. Because uh, if it's anything aside from breathing and eating, <laughs> I really can't see you doing it. <laughs> no, I I like type papers. Yeah. And I write bills, and I take phone calls a lot. Yeah. Lots you write things. bills. Mm-hmm. But I'm going back to school because I I want to do something else. Uh huh. Mhm. Yeah. You don't think real estate's for you? Nah, not really. It's cool, but. What is for you? I'm either gonna go back to be a teacher or <laughs> a lawyer. A teacher or a lawyer. <laughs> wow. Wow. A lawyer. Well, it depends on how much money I have. She got you the death penalty for jaywalking this one. <laughs> Got a little mix-up at the real estate office. Sold an Upper West Side uh, apartment for ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Build the guy ten bucks for it. It's coming out of her pocket, so she's got to become a lawyer to pay for it, right? Yeah. Do you know what jaywalking is? Yes, I do actually. Pretty simple law. If you're going to be a lawyer, what is it? Yeah. Well, I heard it on your show. All right. What is it? It's like walking across the street, and I believe you're usually walking not near the traffic signals. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, well. Sort of. Technically, it's walking from one corner to the next corner of an intersection on an, an angle, on the diagonal, instead of in straight lines across the street. Yeah. But, you know, it's a, cr- a crossing when you're not supposed to, sure. Sure Here's walking. a future lawyer question. How do you feel about tort reform? Oh, oh very good, yeah. Um, what's tort reform? You mean pop tort? <laughs> what kind of tort you talking about? <laughs> Tort reform is basically uh, it's cutting down on litigation. Be- uh, people like needless lawsuits. Yeah. Mm. Senseless lawsuits. Yeah. Well, becoming a lawyer, she probably wouldn't like that. Absolutely. It's cutting uh, in on on your income. Would you be a criminal uh, lawyer, defense, maybe a prosecution? Would you be a a, a lawyer for lawsuits and a civil lawyer? What kind of lawyer? Um, I just read a lot of Grisham novels, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just general law, I guess. Just like a lawyer that reads Grissom novels. Okay. General law. General law. So you're learning a lot about the law from the Grissom novels. They're really good. Would you like to defend like guilty people? That kind of law. Um. Or prosecute them. I guess I would defend people. You would oh want to God, defend people. The jail's gonna be yeah. filled wow. to the brim. Imagine the poor bastard comes in, <laughs> goes, "What? What? Wait, what was that? What was that one Grisham novel? It's about the young lawyer who comes up against the odds." <laughs> what do you mean? There's like a young lawyer, and um, he's thrown into this situation that's supposed to be over his head, mm-hmm. and he kind of like does some behind the scenes investigating. That one Grisham novel. What was that one? That one. And and in the end, everything works out. Yeah, it works out yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the big famous one. It's set in kind of like a southern law firm. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe I haven't read that one yet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Which one is that? It's all it's of them. Every one. <laughs> oh, okay. Every single, single one of them. John Grisham <laughs> should get prostate cancer. He writes the same <laughs> fucking book every time. Wow. Uh, no, he's a he no. certainly does. And she goes, <laughs> and she goes I, did, I don't think I've read that one yet. No, you've read that one yeah. five <laughs> different times. I didn't God. know Grisham made pop-up right. books. <laughs> I read it's a lawyer doing this in a scolding fashion. <laughs> Good on radio, point, and then expecting <laughs> audience at home to laugh. All right, let's thank Francine for uh, doing what she does wow. best. Nice job, thank, Francine. Thank you, guys. Otto and George in the studio. Awesome. we got to take a quick break. Uh, George, uh, yeah. any comments about what you just saw? Uh, I got a Smith and Wesson ready for the next. <laughs> Francine's going to St. Copius of. <laughs> well, all right. Well, uh, see you on the dock, Senator. <laughs> well, Francine was talking about Michael Jackson somewhere in there. Whoa. Really? And we've been having a lot of fun with Jay Leno's monologues on uh, the Michael Jackson thing. So you know who Jay Leno is? Uh? Yes, I yeah, do. Of course you do. All right. So this is what uh, Jay had to say about uh, the president. Jackson case last night on his program. <laughs> Let's see what's happening in the news that I'm allowed to talk about. 
You know about this gag order? You know, I'm yeah. a potential witness in the Michael Jackson trial. As you know, there's a gag order for everyone involved in the Michael Jackson trial. In fact, I believe I'm the first person over the age of 12 that has been gagged by Michael Jackson. <laughs> So tonight, folks, all Tito Jackson jokes. That's what we have tonight. Look at this. Look at this. Although he's under a gag order also, Michael did answer one reporter's question yesterday. Did you see that? Show that footage from the trial yesterday, Michael answered. Michael. Michael. How do you feel about missing the Boy Scout Jamboree this weekend? Angry. 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 Yeah. yeah. In their opening argument, the defense says that Michael Jackson freely admits he reads girly magazines. Yeah. Though he was disappointed when we bought Playboy and found out, uh-oh, there are no boys in it. <laughs> no, see, that's their strategy to try and make Michael seem like a normal guy, saying he reads girly magazines. When was the last time it was called a girly magazine? About maybe 59, possibly? Right after Korea, sometime in that era? Anyway. They said Michael likes to look at the fold-out and fantasize, oh, man, I wouldn't mind artificially inseminating her. You know. The Opie and Anthony Show. XM202. XM202. The Opie and Anthony Show. All right, we're back with the Opie and Anthony program, trying hey, to get man. the energy back into the show. We got Otto and George in the studio, Stark and Patty outside the studio, Vin Diesel blowing us off, it looks like. Why? God, we were doing star. We were doing uh, him a favor. I don't really care if we talk to Vin Diesel. I don't think he's scared. I All think right, maybe he's slow just... down, Opie. What? Yeah. We're doing Vin Diesel a favor? I think so. You yeah. Know, I think we could slow down a little bit. Oh. I think we could take our place in showbiz. And kind of keep Dude. it a little in perspective. because no, we've never been about the big celebrities, and we are doing him a favor because he's trying to promote Pacifier, and the uh, the movie's getting just killed. The reviews are absolutely awful for this film. So, yes, we're doing him a favor. Um, Do you want to talk to Vin Diesel about his new movie, Pacifier? I would really? love to. Really? Maybe I'm get a picture with him? I, I want to talk to him about that Get movie. a picture from him. He's, he's calling in. No, I know. You're going to take a picture of the phone as we're talking to him? Why not? Get audio of it and just play it. My he was in uh, Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, Boil the Room, which I thought was a pretty good movie. That's the one where Giovanni Ribisi plays the retarded stockbroker. That was a great instead movie. Instead of the retarded soldier or the retarded... Right. That was a great movie. Has retarded roles. But Vin Diesel's acting in that movie was awful, and it amazes me that he went on from that point and became as big as he, uh, as he is nowadays. about the Fast and the Furious? Never saw. What about Triple X? Triple X was kind of a bomb. I never saw any of these movies except Private Ryan. Chronicles of Riddick? Never saw that. That was last year's failure. Yes. Jeez. Dude, that movie's stunk. E-I-E-I-O. Someone wants to... Somebody wants to say hi to us. Hey, Durf. Yeah, Wheeler Durf. What's going on, Wheelchair Fred? Nothing, but first of all, I have to wish my son... Hey, happy birthday. He's got to wish his son a happy birthday, oh, okay. is what he's uh, saying. He's 20 years old. Otto, this guy is actually completely there. He lost his uh, you know, voice box pretty much in a bad it's motorcycle a tragic accident. accident. Oh. He, he was on his motorcycle, and Don Geronimo backed out of his driveway <laughs> and ran over him. And his, uh, his legs are all mangled because I don't think he had insurance, so he never got his legs fixed the right oh. way. So now he's in a wheelchair with a really bad voice. And people think that he's slow because of his voice, but he's not. If you play any kickball, try and favor the good leg. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> fucking invalid. <laughs> so he's such a mess that um, he can't get girls anymore, so he decided to go gay. But he's not gay because because he's just desperate, I guess, is what he says. Yeah, so right? he's taking a dick in the ass by some guy he met at a, at a <laughs> deli. Right. Uh, because Not because he's gay, because he's just so desperate for any kind of physical contact and sexual activity that he figured he'd take one in the can. I think to quote Fred, he said, what the heck? Yeah, what the heck? What the heck? Yeah. yeah. You should put some I rock salt in your Vaseline so you get some more injuries going, <laughs> <laughs> loser. You know, I've said what the heck to a lot of stuff, but the decision to have another man's dick in you, it's never yeah. a what the heck moment. Yeah, no. You know? Yeah. It's like, ah, chicken or steak tonight? Ah, chicken, what the heck? What the heck? That's fine. A dick in the ass, never what the heck. No. You want to give it a little more consideration. You want to kiss a girl or be fucked in the ass? Six to one, half a dozen of the other. <laughs> 
I think he said something like, if you go seven years without pussy, you would do it too, right? Is that what you said, mm, Durf? Yeah, I think what I said. Yeah. Well, well I don't know about that. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Get this crippled sodomite off the air. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, George. <laughs> 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 sodomite. Speak up, fuck What? Huh? I can hardly hear you. Yeah, don't worry, you don't want to hear this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry oh, about it. It's not encouraging. Not. You're going you're gonna to roll into the traffic if you hear this stuff. <laughs> uh, let's get Stalker Patty in here to say hi, too. Might as well. Well, roll. first of all, no luck. No luck with what? Oh, I thought he said Good no vodka. Please. Oh, yeah, we told all our, our fans or listeners, whatever, to email Fred. Oh. Fred, no one's going to bang you. Dude, I want to get him out to the Bunny Ranch in Nevada. Yeah, oh. to, to bang out there. <laughs> Great day at work for those girls when he comes rolling yeah. in. Wheeling in. Good deal, son, my day. <laughs> From one freak to another, Stalker Patty stopped by before Ooh. work today. Hi, Patty's Patty. brought Hi, some gifts. The last time we saw Stalker Patty, she was uh, crawling around the floor naked. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> we paid her money to crawl around the floor naked. <laughs> hey, Stalker Looking... Patty, could you uh, flash Otto? It's his first appearance on the brand new oh, yeah. Open Anthony show. Yes. What, what did I ever do to I'm yes. waiting what? for a comment out of the Go puppet. Ahead. Out of the what puppet, George, sure. Look at, look at this. Fred, Shut up, Fred. Oh, Shut up. Oh, All right. Go ahead. Just be Look at this mess. One, two, three. There. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking extra pale and cadaver-like this morning. <laughs> well, anyway, here. This is for Steve and Eric because uh. it was their birthday. The only reason why Eric Shut doesn't up. have a ribbon is because oh, I just found it. out it was his birthday. Whatever. I'm sorry. Tiny little boxes to give out. And this is your 100th show, Truffles. Congratulations on your 100th show this week. Obviously, I know it's not in those boxes. Any of your dignity. There's none left (laughs) (laughs) after that last appearance. You crawled naked across the floor in a Krusty the Clown mask. (laughs) Really? Yeah. (laughs) Classic (laughs) moment. Yeah, Yeah. for money. Oh, well, (laughs) let's see the Truffles. (laughs) The the video video is up on uh, Opie and Anthony, so. (laughs) I'd like a truffle, sweetie. I can't access the video because my computer crashes every time I get... We don't care. (laughs) Why do you... I have to ask. Why do you sign your emails? Peace out, Patty. She signs that's them. My, that's my way of signing them. Peace oh. out. Yeah, I've been signing my uh, emails that way for years, uh. last couple years. <laughs> really? Only you would know that we we've done a hundred shows for XM. Mm-hmm. We were keeping yeah. track for a while, but actually, no. I found out on Wackbag. Someone figured it out and posted it, and I says, "Oh wow, okay." <laughs> Otto, you know, for a while there, um, Anthony and I were we would work really hard on the show and, yeah. and, try, to, and try to bring some cleverness and intelligence to the program. <laughs> Maybe enlighten people out there. Right. Yeah. But we finally came to the realization we have to dumb down this show. We just gave up. <laughs> we just gave up. We got, listen to this. We got this retard on the phone. We got this over here. Francine is trying to figure out how to get home. Wow. She forgot where she lived. And, and we're trying to do highbrow, intelligent, clever stuff. And Vin Diesel doesn't call us. Right. Uh, it's no. a mess. It's just a mess of a program. We did teach people some stuff today, though. Lincoln, yeah. you know, the first president. <laughs> yeah. Yes, New Jersey, the capital of New Jersey. Who <laughs> <laughs> do I want to fuck her? <laughs> oh, someone visited me in the store this week. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. wants to see. Unfortunately, the wasn't a grim reaper. <laughs> <laughs> Little tap on the shoulder and bye bye. <laughs> but I didn't have the salmon mousse. I look up from my register and I see Marion. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Came in, right You're in, because she saw me working. Because I was counting out the register. Oh! So she says to me, uh, Patty, do me a favor, write an email or something, and tell them lay off Lady Die. I says, yeah, right. I didn't do anything, because I'm not involved. So, <laughs> I mean, she can tell <laughs> it herself. Shut up! You know? Quiet. <laughs> Stop yeah, whining. And then Doc Stop whining. Me the day Stop I whining. Sent that email Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Quiet. Quiet. Stop whining. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Shut up. Shut up. Quiet. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop it. We should rent these people out as pets, I'm thinking. <laughs> My God. Yeah, Don Geronimo's house. God. We should rent these people uh, out as pets. Well, you'd send them to, like, to Super Bowl parties, and if your team loses, you can just punch them until the party show up. 
I mean, we could rent wheelchair Fred out for the day and, yeah. and, and stalker Patty. Uh, imagine that rolling around your house. I'm hungry. Feed me. Opie, can I have a truffle? Yeah. I know. Why aren't you opening? Why that, are the Opie? truffles over there? We should t partake. They're very tasty. Yes, I'd like one. I think Otto would like one. They're very tasty, <laughs> from what I hear. I a lot of truffles <laughs> from Godiva chocolate. So, Fred, you're not getting laid from um, the email you're getting from our listeners. No, I'm confusing workers. I can't figure out the computer. You can't figure out the computer? I'm too dumb. <laughs> too dumb. <laughs> you know how easy computers are these days? Patty's yeah, using I one, for God's sake. Yeah, if I can do it. No, we got to do it Wheelchair Fred next week. Uh, we're going to be broadcast live from uh, Washington Monday and Tuesday. We need Fred to do the news from his home. Oh, Fred, Fred will be the, the next news? victim to do That'd the news. Ah, oh, let's see. That'd be good. Which ones are good? All of them. What, what about the... Ooh. Do you want the Lou Gossett Jr., the Halle Berry, or the Michael Jackson? <laughs> I'm taking the Halle Berry. Well, let me see. I'll take the Jackson. I eat the chocolates every day. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you're looking more pear-like every day. No. I don't know. It's good chocolate, though. What is it, like a yeah. vegetable or something? No. It's... Uh, I think These it. are just chocolate. Oh, I know they're to die for. It's not for me. Mm. Thank you. You like chocolate? Pretty good stuff. Here, I'll do one. I'm going to have another one, please. It's uh. the only redeeming quality if you have anymore. <laughs> the fact God. that she works at this place. All right, able to bring us chocolate. Fred, you got anything else? No, no, no. I just want someone to do me. Bozy, <laughs> bozy, bop. She, he, uh, Fred just wants someone to do him. That's all he asks in this yeah, world. Yeah, don't ask. All right, let's go to uh, Pinchy. Pinchy, what did you learn on the show today? Hey, Greg and Tony. How you guys doing? <laughs> good, Very good. Up. Hey, Muffin. Hello, Pinchy. I'm Ian. <laughs> oh, hey, I learned two chocolate. things today. I learned that Philly girls are good at sack races. Yeah. And I learned from Opie that Ben's dad has a cigar boat. The cigar boat wasn't Ben's dad, was no, it? No, that was Bill Bloomer Bill, right yeah. in the comic section. Kurt, Get what's it up? right, you buffoon. Kurt, what's up? Yeah, today I learned that uh, for reparations, they gave everyone uh, 40 acres of mule and uh, bachelor's degree to NYU. Punch it up. Wow. <laughs> that was lovely to hear wheelchair Fred yelling as there's a splash behind the Achille Lauro. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Uh, the Achille Lauro? Achille Lauro. Oh, That's it, what I... It's Achille Lauro. Lauro. No. Oh, if I'm wrong. You... Hold on. Sparky. Klinghoffer. Hey, guys. Klinghoffer. Hey, hey I learned today I that um, Francine would be a perfect candidate to take a snipe on. So she's she's so stupid, she stay out in the woods looking for that bird for hours. I agree. <laughs> Only Fred understood what that guy said. <laughs> uh, Rob, what's up? How do you spell that Yo. Jew's name? <laughs> Put wheelchair dash splash. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rob, what's up? Achille Lauro. L A U R O. The L is silent. It's the Achille Lauro. I've been saying it wrong. What you were You that? have? Achille Lauro, I thought it was. Laurel? I like the Achille Hardy. <laughs> That's the funnier ship. Well, I am. <laughs> That's funny. The ship's past one puts a big pie in the other one's bridge. This is a fine, spineless mess you've gotten us into. <laughs> Who threw the Jew off the promenade deck? <laughs> 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 Someone seems to have rolled a Jew off the boat. We're in trouble now. Mm. I'm sorry, Ollie. Very good. All I saw was a splash and a yarmulke floating on the water. Mm. Very good. The Achille Laurel. Oh, you see that of a naked gun movie just push. Off the end of the <laughs> yeah. Whoa, oi, hey, Rob, what's up? Yo, yeah, Rob and Anthony. What up? <laughs> I learned uh, two things. Yesterday, I learned that the more melanin you have in your skin, the smarter you are. So, Francine must be a very light black person. Ah, right. Punch it out. Oh, yeah, that was from yesterday. Very yeah, good. It was. Connected the two shows for us. Billy, Hello, what's up? Alexander, Alexander Houston is on the $10 bill. And that's from Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Philly. <laughs> what's up, Philly? You, very educational show today, boys. Uh, yeah, like college in here. 
I learned that uh, Opie was in a cigar board on Martha's Vineyard with one of Patrick's naked uncle, Will Larry David, was going to him blow with Tom Brady. It's crazy and saying it's not. Wow, Ben. Hey, that's yeah. a good, good one, man. Thank you. Let's say hi to Steve. Steve, what did you learn on the program today? Hey, I learned today that uh, who needs hooked on phonics when you got affirmative action? <laughs> All right. That was mean-spirited and not educational. Wheelchair Fred, you learn anything on the show today? I learned that the guy that was at NYU would be a great lay. Uh, <laughs> the girl from NYU would be a great lay. Sure. Yeah, she does. She would know if she came. She wouldn't know if she came? She said she All right, Kenny, what did you learn on the show? Hey, Ed. Hey, Ed. Hey, dummy. Hey. Not you, George. Yo. <laughs> I learned in Manhattan, the capital of New York. Very good. And real fast, Otto and George playing the Stress Factory at the end of the month of March called the Stress Factory.